guys. Happy Thursday. Good morning. I hope you have a lovely day. Okay. I think that this is a lovely throw. And you will too. After the... You're putting in some work here. Let's just say that. I think you may have bitten off more than you could chew or you had anticipated something going a lot smoother than it's going, right? Everything... You know, we're the mayor of, of Mayberry in our heads, right? Until we actually get into something, we're like, oh, I did not see this one coming. But we all do it. Um, we come in with the Four of Wands as our energy. The Death card fell out, so I took it. And the Four of Coins also fell out, so I took that too. Now, we've got the Five of Wands, and how that's going to show up is the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, and our outbound card is the Four of Swords. So we've got three fours on the table here. Okay, that's a lot. And I left the page of wands in reverse. For those of you that are learning tarot and, and those of you that know it, I know you like to, to follow along. So for you, I'm leaving it there. Normally, I'd flip him around and just look at what elements, the balance of the elements here, and you can figure out the same exact thing by doing that. So there's a tip for you. Um, now, what I think is happening here is I think you're looking for... Uh, Kind of like when we go through something in our head and we're like the mayor of Mayberry, right? Oh, everything's going to be fine and this is going to look like this and we're not anticipating the things that might come up, right? We all do that. But I think what you've done is you may have bitten off more than you could chew here or you're really having to work at something. Now, three fours can really mean um, house move, house repairs, uh it can mean a lot of physical work, so you're, you, you might be really, really having to do something here. But what I'm also feeling with this is someone may have just come through a really, really traumatic labor, like literally came through a, a, a there might be something surrounding that too. Okay, for a small, a small group of you, and for those of you, um, I am sorry about that. Um, but for the, the majority of you, I think you have either gotten yourself into something. There's a valuable lesson in here, though. I think where enthusiasm took off out of the gate, you know, like rah, rah, I think you're now putting some caution in here because I think that what's happening is if you're someone, if this is happening in the work arena, the Four of Wands is a great card to have anywhere. It's saying that you've got stability after the storm, basically, right? When you go through something, you come out stronger for it. And that's what I think the valuable lesson here is for you. I think you're exhausted, yes, but you either took on a new job, you're either taking on more responsibilities at work, or, you know, for some of you, you may have just gotten married and things are not, like I say, you didn't anticipate it's different when you're dating someone opposed to now you're living under the same roof and you realize, wow. How could you not find the hamper two feet away? You know, things like that. It could be anything like that. But somehow, I think your picture of how you thought something was going to be needs some little, a little bit of tweaking here. And if I remember correctly, yesterday's throw was about just merging into change a little bit, right? So you've got a lot on your plate here. I would say maybe just restructure. Take that four of swords on the outbound and just really make sure that you're trying to pull things back into alignment because with the four of swords there, you can get ill, meaning that, you know, you can, you can be overworking, not taking care of yourself. This is about balance. With four, with three fours, you're looking for balance. You've got financial stability here. On the home front, things look great too, right? But with the death card there, you're going to need to take some some tweaks here. Someone may be stubborn. Someone may not want to move something. Someone may be just, that page of wands in reverse too is a very, it can be a very immature person. And with the five of wands there, it's someone who you're coming up against that's just, they're, they're a little on the immature side, right? So they need to learn some lessons, Um in in the situation here and it can be anything right but one thing i can say is there's a lot of uh you know maybe you're you're trying to get stuff together to move and someone is just not wanting to do their part either way you're gonna need to pull back in to this equation some stability for yourself because this many fours on the table it's unrealistic you're gonna have to deal with the hiccups but i think you can absolutely streamline how this is going and that's what the death card is saying it's the only Arcana card in here, but it's a card that, that says 
to when it shows up, it's pretty strong. It's saying that this isn't the first time. You know what I mean? Maybe someone falls short in what they say and then what they do. They don't walk their talk, basically, right? They're they're really good at the bup, 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 but they're not so good at follow through physically. And I think that a lot of that may be falling on you. What I want to warn against in here on the, the job front in your in your career, if you're the yes person in the office and you're taking on a lot of stuff, um, because you're not quite sure how appropriate it is to say no, you need to maybe look at a different way to do that. Because I think what can happen here is you may be taking on more than you can actually do. And what will happen is your a tower moment will show up where you're losing credibility on the work front because you're missing deadlines. You've just taken on too much, basically. And it's OK to say no. It's more in how you say it than what you're saying. And that's where the five of wands and the page in reverse, you may not know how to say this. And what's happening is it's causing inner turmoil, which is probably ricocheting through different parts of your life too, right? So that's what I think it's about. I'm going to keep the reading short. It's just guys about restructuring some stuff. That's really all it is. But with the death card in here, you want to get a handle on it because if you don't, it becomes, it that five of wands becomes it just becomes a lot worse for you. And that kind of stress is going to lead to that four of swords being ill. That's what it's going to be. It's not going to be a timeout. It's going to be now I'm down for the count because I've totally depleted myself. Okay. It can be something like that too. It can be something too where, you know, uh, you purchased a house and you're like, wow, I did not realize that this much work needed to go into this. And that's what it is. It's something like that. But I would, the main takeaway from here is just restructure. Just restructure. Make this doable. Make it bite-sized pieces for your day-to-day because -day, that's really all that it matters. You'll get to your goal, you know, but with that four of swords, you want to do it in a way that you're not like dragging yourself across the finish line. And you want to enjoy the experience, right? So there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy um, to help you with anything. Okay, thank you so much.